what did you do today? I walked. I walked. <laughs> Describe it. I mean, it took a lot of work. I had this hydraulic walker thing that my arms are being supported and I was harnessed in and I give props to my physical therapist, Phil, that Phil, the physical therapist, Philical therapist, hmm. he's incredible. And so is Eric and all there's just the team at premier. This is a plug for premier. They're fucking amazing. Um, but all that hard work really paid off and I've been watching the video over and over and over and, um, because I've dreamed of it, you know, and it felt good to have my feet on the floor and to have my legs bend and just with the assistance, obviously, but I walked. <laughs> I mean, my level of injury is pretty high up. C3, C4. And I'm talking and I'm breathing on my own. And I'm writing. And I'm driving my own chair. And I'm walking. Hmm. And I'm unstoppable. The hardest part of all this is the waiting game having a lot of time on my hands. But if you would have told me a year ago that I'd be walking, I wouldn't obviously want to believe it. But I walked. Hmm. I almost wanted to cry afterwards. But I was so excited and so many emotions. I mean every day something new is happening i mean no one can really know except those who've gone through it before like lynn moshell my friend i sent her the video and she said that's how she started hmm. just like that so i have something in so i have something I have someone who went through it see me do it i mean it's those little milestones and you mentioned the handwriting that's an update from the last time we did one of these i put that marker in your hand that first day and your brain just remembered you just wrote your name i've been practicing in my mind and my wrist kind of knew how to do it and just like forming the letters i didn't need help because <clears throat> I didn't have a traumatic brain injury. My mind is still intact, but I was able to write a little bit. Hmm. And um, that felt really good too. It's another step towards my independence. Yeah, well, another thing has happened recently that to me might, it's maybe just my opinion, but it might be the most meaningful thing probably in your mind is that Isaac now? What does he do when he comes over to you? He comes over to me and hugs my legs. I'll say, give mommy a hug. He just instinctively knows to come over and hug me. And why is that so significant? Because how hard was it early because on when you got home? That was the hardest part, honestly. I couldn't physically hold my baby and comfort him and soothe him and feed him and change his duty diapers. <laughs> but um, I felt that connection with Isaac had been severed. And I so wanted to be close with him again. I started lactating, <laughs> which is interesting. And I was breastfeeding him before the accident it's like my body kicked back in to where it left off but I didn't really have a way to really connect with Isaac because anytime anyone would put him on me he'd like squirm away and uh, the 
fact that he comes over to me now, it's honestly, I don't know what's better that or giving birth all over again. It's so beautiful. And now he, he knows, rubs my arm. And he knows how to use the button to do the lift, to lift you in and out of your chair and out of bed and he can hold it. And Which might not be the safest thing. I know. But um, it's so cute. And it's like he wants to help. He's been watching, you know, all this time. People doing the lift and mm -hmm. he wants to be the operator as well. Yeah. Do it, Isaac. <laughs> Keep going. You need a racer? <laughs> Hold it. You got it. Keep going. Keep going, Isaac. A little more. Uh, you know, that was that was probably the hardest thing for me is to see you not being able to be connected with him. It was devastating. I'm sure it was worse for you. It was but, horrible. Yeah. But to see him now, he he comes in, he finds you. He's like, Mommy. And he comes, he sees where you are. And he comes over and just lays his head into your legs and hugs them. And that just has to be an incredible feeling after what you've had to go, go through. And no one showed him that. He just knew. Yeah. And Leah's been great, too. I mean, she understands. Mommy, walk today, she said today. Like when I went and got my hair done the other day. Oh, yeah. Erica did a video. And she's like, Mommy, you can do this. Hmm. And it was just so sweet. Um, because I had some reservations. Obviously, going out of the house is a big ordeal. It would be bigger in my head. But, like, I was getting my hair did. Like, how was it going to be done? Would my chair work? And would I be able to tilt back? How are they going to rinse my hair? Da, 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 da. But it all worked out. And I look damn good. Yeah, you do. That's my girl. Well, we just wanted to do an update. Um, another thing we'd like to do is, you know, we haven't been able to really send out a lot of thank yous individually. But incredible meals, people giving gift cards, people sending money, people offering, you know, sending gifts for Hanukkah, sending pastries. Um, but you know, some incredible cooks out there. We really appreciate y'all and everyone sending gift cards for meals and some very, very generous donations that are really helping. Cause as you know, as you can probably imagine, there's a lot of expenses with this, but we just are very, very grateful. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm so touched that I've touched so many lives and you guys are paying it back and touching our lives. And uh, those of you, I hope you have a great holiday season, had a great Hanukkah, and a good Christmas. And give those around you a little hug extra tighter. And um, know that you're loved, no matter what, if you're having a hard day. Just think, what did Lauren do today? Oh, that's right. I walked. Mm -hmm. Atta girl.